Okie dokie. So um, I've had a request to delete this file, APG60 L00. Um, it's been accidentally compiled into a, a mods library um, rather than the standard uh, AUL library. <clears throat> you can see that um, this was the promotion path for, path for this one. Uh, I've just compiled it into my library to test it, so ignore that. What we're actually seeing here is the same logical as in both of these libraries. The, um, the customer modifications library is a slightly different version and uh, the core version which lives in the uh, Aurora application manager files library so we need to get rid of this one so we're going to create a turnover form to archive it and it's really nice and simple so let's start off with just going to copy and paste the file name so I know where it is I know that it's going from this library that's where I'm going to archive it from so I know the application so I'm going to go into turnover Go into my work lists. Um, I happen to have a work list open that I'm working in, so I'm just going to drop it in there. You could drop it in any work list you like. Just make sure that the uh, application that you're working on is the one that you want to archive from. In this case, I do. I want to archive it from this application, HP 2.3. So I'm going to press F6 to add this file. It's a logical file. I'm going to check it out. It says, oh yeah, and I go, yeah, go on. So what that's basically done for me is created this item um, in the work list. So you can see that it has the logical in my library. As I say, I just created it there. So um, it, it would probably just show the source code if you were trying to archive something. It shows that it's not in the test or the stage environments yet, but it does exist in AHP mods. So I want to delete it. So what I'm gonna do is basically create a form and run it up through the lists to keep everything clean. Because in your case, your mileage may vary. You may actually have it in one of these two libraries. We want to delete and archive it all the way up. So to do that, we simply create a form entry. So there's our form ready. Now I could run it up using the work list, but for clarity, I'm going to drop down into the forms option on the, the main turnover menu just to show you how to do it. So our form number is 12755. So we're going to do number six off the main menu to work with forms. There's our form, 12755. I'm going to edit it, because so I'm going to change it to delete. There's our form, it has one line on it, which is our um, logical file that we want to delete, so we just do a two to change. When we're looking at our logical, um, our definition here, you can see that it's defaulted in to try and copy source and compile it. So we press F7 to update the top of this form. And quite simply, we go to change the code, change it from add, change it to delete, press enter. It gives us a warning. The warning is saying, hey, uh, if this file doesn't exist when you run it, you're going to get some errors. And we say, yeah, of course, we know that. And then we update it. <coughs> it's as simple as that. <clears throat> so I've got a bit of an allergy cough today. I don't know why I'm coughing and wheezing. Um, so here's our form. I'm looking at it. It's an APG60. It shows the code is delete, and we're ready to run. So what I'm going to do is just run that up through all of the levels. So we're at level 10. So this will try to delete it from the first level, the test level. And what it's saying is, hey, it doesn't exist in the test level. We just saw that in the uh, work list. I'm gonna say, I don't care, and I'm just gonna press F6. I wanna run it in every level, just so it's neat and tidy. So it runs, and it ran with warnings. I know it ran with warnings, because it didn't exist. So now let's copy it to the next level, level 20. Let's run it there. I'm expecting to see the same error, saying that it doesn't exist. F6 to run with warnings. Now, finally, I'm going to copy it to that production level. The production level is, is on this test machine. I don't want to send this to production machine because I don't want to delete anything over there just yet. This is the, a tidy up of our test box after a, a big multi-environment upgrade. So I'm going to run this on the production level, which in this case is a library called AHP Mods. As I go through the options before running it, it comes up with the distribution defaults. I'm going to make sure I do a four against the distribution. I do not want to send this form to production. And it says, hey, everything looks good. Do you want to run it? And I say, yes. And it ran OK. So if I go back into my work list, um, if I remember what it's called, I think it was this one. You can see that it's pushed it up through all the levels. Dun, dun, dun and that the object and source no longer exists in any of those levels. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it still lives in my work library, um, and I'll just manually clean that up.